Hey, what's up guys? Chris Juni here for Chris Corp Productions. I'm really excited for today's video because we're gonna be exploring the best essential keyboard shortcuts for Premiere Pro, which will significantly increase your workflow when it comes to editing. So first things first, ideally when editing, you wanna have your left hand dedicated to hitting all the keys and your right hand dedicated to your mouse or cursor. So this is because ideally you wanna have both hands stationary with all of their commands within reach because as soon as you start crossing your hands and reaching for keys and doing all of that, it's not only strenuous for you know, your hands to be doing that all day, but it also adds you know, a second here and there, which doesn't seem like a lot, but honestly, when you're editing a lot all day, every day, it really adds up. So keeping in mind this workflow, I really suggest that you scrap all of Premiere's default keyframes, or well, most of them, because they're kind of spread out all over your keyboard and you really want to have them grouped within reach of your left hand. Because of that, I'm not going to be focusing too much on what the actual shortcut is. I mean, I'm still going to post it right here, just like that, but I'm not going to really pay too much attention to that. This video is just to focus on what the shortcut actually does, because at the end of this video, we're actually going to take a look at how to rearrange and how to rename all the shortcuts to fit uh, your needs a little bit better. So let's begin with the thing that I actually use the most. So number 10 is zooming in and out of the timeline. Now this doesn't seem like a big deal. You know, you can always reach for the bottom bar that you have in your timeline, uh, click on it and sort of just drag it in and out to zoom in and out of your timeline. But you're still having to move your cursor and it's much more convenient to just toggle between two keys to zoom in and out of your timeline. Number nine is ripple delete. And I use this all the time, especially when I'm editing tutorials and videos like this. I mean, I make mistakes, I stumble, I say a lot of um, uh's, so I cut them down and then I wanna squeeze everything back together. So essentially what ripple delete is, if you haven't used it already, it's let's say you have these three clips. Well, I don't want this clip, so I'm gonna delete that. And now I want these two clips to, well, come together. Now the way you do this is with ripple delete. And there's a couple of ways of doing this uh, in Premiere. So let's say we have them separated like this. You can select that middle empty area between them and hit delete and this will ripple delete those two clips together. But there's also a keyboard shortcut for that. And I've personally assigned my keyboard shortcut to F. Number eight is the shuttle slow write function in Premiere. And if you hit that keyboard shortcut, your video is gonna play if you actually hit play and then hit that keyboard shortcut, it's actually gonna just speed through your video really fast and the more you hit it, the faster it gets. So this is really convenient if you have a really long timeline and you know you just wanna make sure that there's nothing weird happening and you just wanna have a quick preview of your whole scene. This is a great way to just skim through it and make sure everything is good. Number seven is a huge time saver and this is the track select tool. And essentially, you know, if you've ever had a very cluttered timeline and you just wanna move one section, well, the track selector tool is definitely for you because you get to select everything from one point on uh, and vice versa and just move that one section. Because before, you know, you just had to make a large selection and uh, sort of just hope that you got everything and then hit shift and also find all those individual clips that you might have missed and then move it all. Well, this actually saves all of that and uh, it's super helpful. Number six is what I use probably the most because it's just one of the most basic functions of editing and that's cutting clips. Keyboard shortcut for that is C, default and Premiere and I usually leave it like that because it's, uh, it's a pretty good position in the keyboard. And then speaking of basic functions, uh, V is a keyboard shortcut for the regular pointer tool, the, you know, just a regular cursor or selector tool. And uh, I, I find that very convenient because on the keyboard C and V are next to each other. So you can toggle back and forth between the razor tool and just the regular selection tool. So those are a huge time saver instead of just going to that toolbar and having to select which one you want. Number five, four, I lost count already. I, I can't. Rearrange clips with alt control, which I believe is also the default keyboard shortcut. You can actually rearrange clips. This is super useful, again, when you have really cluttered timelines and you just wanna, you know, swap two clips. This is definitely the tool for you. Number, this number is the drag and copy tool, which is uh, you first select a clip, then you uh, hit Alt on your keyboard and you slide it forward, and this will make a copy of that clip. Similar like in Photoshop, pretty much you just use this tool to clone layers. However, this is not to be confused if you first hit Alt and then click on a portion of either the video layer or the audio layer, 
uh, you can then move those, uh, those layers individually. So we've always had footage where the video is linked with the audio. Well, if you hit Alt on your keyboard and select just the video portion, you can slide that video portion alone and same thing with the audio portion. So this is just really, really useful and it definitely speeds up things instead of just right clicking on the clip, hitting unlink and then moving those two parts individually and then possibly having to relink them. So this is another huge time saver. And then finally, the last one, which I hope it's like number 10 or one, if we count it down, is cutting down your entire timeline. And this is done with the razor tool and holding down shift. So wherever your timeline indicator is in your timeline, you will be able to slice right through all of those layers that are sitting with that, that timeline indicator is. So that's, that's pretty useful. Instead of just going click, 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 you get to slice right through them all. All right, and since apparently I don't know how to count, let's talk about default transitions. So normally, if you want to apply a transition to your video, you just search it under your effects, drag and drop it onto your clip. Now, this is again, a lot of movement. And since most of the times you're always applying the same transition over and over, there is a shortcut for applying a default transition to a clip. So if you select a clip and you hit Command D, that will apply a default transition at the beginning and end of the clip, unless it's actually touching with another clip. And then finally, number one, I'm not really sure if it's a top pick, but it's definitely one that I use often in Premiere Pro and that is expanding the panels inside of Premiere, so pretty much making them go full screen. And I do this by hovering over whatever panel I want to expand and hitting my tilde key, which is that weird squiggly line on your keyboard. If again, you have a cluttered timeline, or if let's say you're doing a few animations and adjustments with keyframes, it gets really cluttered real fast. So this is a great way to just expand that area Having this feature can allow you to really dial in and focus in on one area of your workspace in Premiere, which makes editing faster and less confusing. And then finally, as I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, we're gonna talk about custom shortcuts. So to do this, we're gonna go under Premiere Pro, under Mac, but if you're on a PC, I believe that you can access your keyboard shortcuts under the Edit tab, and even that keyboard shortcuts window has its own shortcut, which is pretty funny. So now all you have to do is type in the name of the command in the search box, and then just change the shortcut. You can just simply just type in on your keyboard whatever key or combination of keys that you prefer and then hit OK. So for example, we can test this uh, ripple delete shortcut uh, function out and see if it worked and just hit F and you can see that it's, it's working. Now, I really highly recommend you go on the Adobe Premiere Pro help form and over there you can find a ton of, of keyboard shortcuts for Premiere Pro CC. You know, let me know in the comment section if you wanna see a part two and I will pick the next top 10 keyboard shortcuts that I use the most in Premiere Pro. All right guys, that is it for this uh, very short tutorial, but I hope you, uh, you learned something from it and it will speed up your workflow when editing in Premiere Pro. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. It definitely helps a lot. And also what does help if you're a new visitor is subscribing. I'm trying to build a community of just passionate VFX artists and filmmakers around this channel. And so far your support has been really awesome and I appreciate all of the love and feedback that you show. Anyways, if you are new to Premiere, I actually made a video called Learn Premiere Pro in uh, 20 minutes. And this is sort of a continuation of Learn After Effects in 20 minutes, which are two videos that are performing really well and that you guys seem to really dig. So I, uh, I'm really happy to see all of the feedback in the comment section. So definitely do so for this video as well and share it with your friends, share it in communities that could use uh, some uh, keyboard shortcut knowledge and share my channel to anybody that you think could find this uh, content interesting. So thanks again so much for watching. My name is Chris Trini for Chris Corp Productions and I'll see you next week.